Hello, welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I love all the new faces. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and clean out these cabinets and wipe them down. This was right after we did our large monthly grocery haul. So the cabinets were pretty much bare, more bare than they have been in a long while. So I figured perfect time to go ahead and just clean them out check expiration dates and wipe them clean and i figured what better thing to do than to bring y'all with me perks of working with just cabinets you have to make it work so yes i'm just throwing stuff in there this is real life for me i don't have all the special containers yes i would love little special containers but i don't have them yeah i am working on them you will see i will have a few containers for a few of these cabinets and eventually i'll have great organization throughout my whole kitchen just is going to be a slow and working progress and this cabinet is also more like a snack cabinet i have two separate cabinets one is uh, foods that my two-year-old is safe to have and the other one is foods that my two-year-old is not safe to have he does have a allergy to dairy and i just keep them separated and he understands his allergy he understands what it does if he eats dairy so he knows if you just tell him like no you can't eat that he's very um knowing and just says oh okay so that's how we do it we just have separate cabinets so when he wants a snack he can go ahead and go in his cabinet rather than looking in the cabinet of stuff that he can't have <laughs> So this is a container I have picked up at the Dollar Tree and I leave this on my microwave and just kind of restock it. It kind of keeps the kids out of the cabinets and just kind of grabbing from here. However, I don't put any dairy items in this container. So my older two kids will still be going into the cabinets, but this kind of just helps out a little bit. It makes it quick when they're like, mama, I want a snack. I can just pull it down and say, what would you like? So yes, this makes it a little bit more convenient. And now we're working on my island. So this island stores a lot of our food. It's the most space that we have available to us. However, my children like to play with everything in here as well. And honestly, I just don't even care if they do. It's the only way I get anything done. So while I'm washing dishes, they're playing with cans of tuna fish.
watching this on the day that I post it, that would make today New Year's Eve. So happy New Year's, y'all. I would love to hear what your resolutions are in the comments below. I've got quite a few this year. I want to focus on weight loss again. Last year, that was my resolution. I did lose over 70 pounds, but with school starting back up and my little one starting to get around and he not wanting me to do my workouts, oh my goodness, I gave up. I don't even know why, but I did and I'm planning on getting right back into it. And yes, I put on some of the weight back, but not all of it and I can definitely restart and get back in there. But yes, I would definitely like to read what everybody's new year resolutions are. And I'd also like to take this time to say if you're still watching, thank you so much for watching this video. I am hoping you're enjoying it. And if you are, please consider smashing that like button. That would really help support my channel. So this cabinet, as you can tell, is like an everything cabinet. I just kind of throw all of our little lunch boxes, cups. I also store all of my baking stuff and our canned goods in here. So it is a huge mess. We do have plans to build a pantry right next to my refrigerator. We are just waiting on the funds and time availability for my husband to do so. But once we get that pantry in order, we can definitely do a lot better with our cabinets. So this is our little two gallon jug that we got from Walmart. As you can see, the nozzle was up. This has literally never happened to me, but of course I'm recording and it wanted to happen. So as I was pouring the water in the jug, it was coming out of the nozzle, big mess. But anyway, this is what we mostly drink for the most part. 98% of what we drink is this. So what we do is we just fill it up with water and then we use the oldie brand um, quart flavors. We like the fruit punch the best and it is dye and sugar free. So I am happy that we found something that we actually like and it's helping us get our water intake. I know it's not 100% the best thing for us, but we did try the infused water and my kids refused it. 
So this is what we've got going on right now. If anybody has any recommendations on something else to try, I would love to read about those in the comments as well. I'm gonna take this time to say thank you for watching and if you're still here, I appreciate you so, so much. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying this video. And I hope to see you at the next one. All right, so it's the next day. I did not get everything on the to-do list done the day before, and I really needed to get this meat repackaged. Like I had said, we had just did our monthly grocery shopping, and this chicken and ground beef were on sale for a good price, so I went ahead and stocked up, and I need to break both of them up into uh, meals of eight, so... Um, what I do is I go ahead and I put what's going to be in the bag and the date on each bag and then I just break it up evenly and disperse of it into eight separate meals. Um, I also do like a inventory that I keep on the side of my fridge where I'll write the date and what the meat is and then how much of those I have. And then that way when I pull one out, I can take uh minus it from our account and that way i know that i'm pulling out the older meat first and using that up before i go on to the newer meat and it also helps me realize how much we have and how much we don't have and it kind of helps me keep organized this was my first time having to cut the chicken um at the store that i've been buying it from lately they usually have it like uneven. I think it's like packs of five pieces of chicken breast, which I'm used to six. So usually I just do three and three, but this one they do five. So now I'm starting to cut like that extra one and half and it works out perfectly. And so now I do the same thing for our ground beef. Now I have only been buying sale meat for I would say four months now and stocking up on that sale price. I'm still getting to learn what's the cheapest I can get it at. And even if it's not the cheapest I can get it at, if it's even cheaper than what I would have paid at the another store what I would have normally paid then I consider that a win not only does it help me save money but it helps ensure that we have food in the house and I never have to worry <clears throat> if we're gonna have food like say we are short one week or if something unimaginable happens and we just aren't able to go to the store that week I know we have food and that makes it me so happy. So now we're going to go ahead and get into this disaster of a refrigerator. So after we did our monthly shopping, kind of the food just kind of got thrown in there for me to organize later.
So when I'm cleaning the fridge, I like to go one shelf at a time. The reason I do that is because I am home alone most of the time when I'm doing all my cleaning because when my husband's home, we try to keep it more like family time. Plus, we're always busy with bedtime routine and that kind of stuff. So yes, I do a lot of my cleaning alone and my kids will need me or need something or it might be a nap time or something will come up and I'm not able to finish. So I wouldn't want to be caught with everything out of the fridge and my kids all of a sudden wanting me to go put them down for a nap or something. So I just go one at a time and do it that way. That way, if I do have to take a break, I just have one shelf worth of stuff to finish rather than the entire fridge. So I did buy these storage containers uh, a few months ago. And what I like to do is store our overstock back behind them. I store stuff behind this juice container and these organizers and even the egg container that I know would be something that we would need like for a recipe or stuff that I know that I bought like our lunch meat and the milk that we would have to go in and get. I wouldn't put stuff back there that would be uh, only need it if you see it kind of thing like yogurt because then it just would sit back there until it went bad. But stuff that you know that you have and you're going to be actually looking for it, that's what I store back there. And it like gives us a lot more space because now I can store more and it's a little more organized if that makes sense. <music> So I have officially finished cleaning and organizing all of our food cabinets and putting it all away. So now I can go ahead and just straighten up the kitchen, get everything lingering around, put away. And here you see me. I am actually proof watching one of my other videos before that one gets posted. You know, multitasking is a mom's superpower. So this is it for this video. I truly hope you enjoyed watching it and got the motivation that you were looking for today. And as always, continue to simply live your best life. I thank you so very much for watching. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.